but we're going to show you how to do some podcasting with your students. Now I'm going to show you two different techniques. One is using an online tool called Vocaroo, and the other is using software called Audacity. So I'm going to start with Vocaroo, and for Vocaroo, you notice you can just go to vocaroo.com. Uh, I've gone to the site, and you'll notice I haven't. I don't have to log in or anything. This is actually the splash screen for that site, and there's a big button that says "Click to Record." And so, if I click that button, uh, once I do that, it's going to ask me for access to my microphone, which I will hit Allow, and now it should be recording. One, two, three. So, if I click Listen. And now it should be recording. One, two, three. So, that was me recording my lesson. So, what, what I want you to notice is that there's not a lot of um, tools. They hit record. They record what they have to say. I would suggest that you have students make notes for themselves so that they already have a script that they're going to either read from directly or, or be able to speak from. But now that you've recorded it, how do you get it somewhere? And so you can click here where it says click here to save. And when you do that, it brings up a host of options. So one of the options is for them just to embed it into a web page. And if they click on that, it will give them uh, an embed code. Or they can click email, which will open up your email browser and send it to you. But really, all they need to do is send that link. So if they copy and paste that link to a document, it'll be there. <clears throat> you can use Twitter. If you already have Gmail set up on your computer, you can click that. You can also have the students create a QR code um, for, their, for their recording. There it is. So they can take that and they can include that anywhere and that will record their voice. And they can also download it as an MP3 or some other file formats. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of getting the data that, or the podcast from your students to wherever you might need it for an, for an ex extra project. What's not available here is the ability to edit the audio, <coughs> stop and, and pause and go back and forth. You really just have to record in one shot. So let's take a look at Audacity, which is another program. It's a cross-platform program. It means it'll work on Mac or it'll work on PC. If you're in your school environment, you're going to probably have to talk to your tech folks to get them in to install it. But when you open up Audacity, this is the picture that you will get. It may be sort of shrunken down a little bit more, but the, the main tools that you need are up here. So uh, this is the record button. This is the stop button. You might have to explain to students why this is red and this is green, because they'll think perhaps green would be go. <clears throat> I've set it up so that it's going to be uh, recording from my built-in microphone. And once I, st I click record, it'll start, and I can hit pause but most often I'm going to want to stop. So, but I'll hit record. One, two, three, four. I'll pause it and then I can unpause it. Five, six. And now I'll stop it. So let's play that back. Record. One, two, three. So I'll stop it here. So it definitely recorded. You'll notice this was me saying record. So I don't want that. And you'll be able to, once you use this type of program, is you can start to look and get uh, a good idea of what the waveforms are. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to hit my delete button, and it's gone. And here's another little section maybe where I, I, I bump something, so I'll delete that out. And so if I go back and I hit play, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if... This is really just like it would be a, a, a word processing document. So if this was me saying two. If I hit the um, cut tool and then I go over here and I hit the paste tool, so command X and command V, and now I hit play back here. One, three, two, four. So you can cut things up and you can edit them. When you're done with your recording, in this case, you're going to have to export, and you're going to go to File and Export. 
And you're going to want to choose an MP3 as your choice, although there are a lot of others, but MP3s are going to be about a meg per minute, and they're going to allow you to have a nice compressed file. So I'll call this my, um, my MMS test file. And I'm going to hit save, and the interesting thing about MP3s, which you may know, is that they contain metadata. Metadata allows you to put in information about this. And so I can put in my, my artist name would be my name. I usually have my students do it last name first because then it will become alphabetical when I throw this into iTunes. And this data will actually come through. So for the album title, I might put in my unit. Uh, I might have the track number be my student identifier if I want to put them into a certain order. Uh, I can also list my year that I've done this and other things. And then I'll hit OK. And now it will save that file, and that file will be saved in whatever location I have. That's how you can get done some podcasting.